Okay, our next lesson in terms of sig figs will be the rule for multiplication and division. So when you are multiplying and dividing, the answer has the same number of sig figs as the least number from the problem. So for example, if I had 3.04 grams divided by 25 milliliters, this has three sig figs. This has two sig figs. So my answer can only have the least number from the problem. So my answer, when I round it, will only have two sig figs. So I'm going to get 0 0.12, and then the units, and we'll talk about units in just a minute, are grams per milliliter. This is two sig figs. Because remember, leading, zero, leading zeros are not significant. Another example, we'll do another example with multiplying. So let's say I have 55 centimeters times 4 centimeters. This is 2 sig figs. This is 1 sig fig. So when I multiply, you would get 220, but that's two sig figs. So what I would have to round to, this is my last sig fig, this is going to round, down, round to um, 200. And then it's centimeters squared. Because so I have to round that to one sig fig, because my answer should only have one sig fig. Trailing zeros without a decimal point are not significant. So if you notice these units, let's talk about the units, how I came up with the, the correct units for multiplying and dividing. So when you multiply, um, so for example, centimeters times centimeters times centimeters, so the units are going to be centimeters, and then one, two, three, so it's centimeters cubed. Or if I did centimeters times centimeters, one, two, centimeters squared. If I'm dividing, so I could have a derived unit, grams divided by milliliters, it gives me grams per milliliter, that should look familiar, that's density. If I had centimeters cubed divided by centimeters, then I subtract cubed. The one is understood, so 3 minus 1 would be centimeters squared. And remember, sig figs are all about measurement, so it's important that you have the correct units. You're going to go now do the problem that goes with this video, and then we'll have another video where we talk about addition and subtraction.